he ends up doing the most hermetic of activities, which is he turns to painting. Uh, and not just painting, he's painting kind of really uh, vernacular, sort of still, minor painting of still lives, portraits, things just to, to, to live by. Uh, so it's, it's, it's in one sense a kind of a, someone who was uh, you know, absolutely um, lifted up as a, as a radical architect in the 1920s ends up uh, uh, doing the, these paintings. So it's kind of painting as hermetic, painting as impotent. Um, and, they, and it's something that uh, uh, I, I've been thinking a lot about and how to continue to, in a sense, think about this relationship to, to painting and painting's death and the monochrome. Uh, this is a, a, a show I did based on this uh, su subject in, in um, uh, Frankfurt Kunstverein. Uh, and it's, it's, it, it, it comes from uh, a, a huge uh, monochrome that I'd made earlier uh, for another show. Uh, that I'd ripped down uh, off, off the wall and it, and it kind of becomes a kind of a, a curtain uh, that, that one can walk through or, or past or look through. I made this uh, uh, reflection on Melkoff's um, bed or, uh, in the, or, or Lenin's tomb. Could have been either. And, and it was, on, it was a multiple on every floor. There was this kind of quiet space that allowed for um, a panoramic window um, uh, for, for some, and, I, and I felt kind of like the importance of uh, when people are coming to visit uh, people in, in wards or in, 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 in sickness uh, the, 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 those being visited are always horizontal and those coming to visit them are somehow not and I wanted to bring this relationship of the horizontal uh, into, uh, into the hospital for the visitors as well uh, and uh, also this importance of kind of as, as a philosophical position of horizontality uh, that, that somehow lying changes one's relationship to the world so he sets up a provocation he sets up this idea of the minor versus the major uh, in relation to history um, and, it's, and, it, and it is a provocation in, in, the, in that one would like to think always okay as artists we should be involved in ethics we should be involved in politics we should be involved in making the major claim uh, for art um, and here's someone who's doing the, the opposite and yet continues to be uh, in my mind extraordinary this idea of the model I, I brought into um, uh, a show I did in Istanbul uh, well it was uh, for the Istanbul Biennale 2007 and it was a kind of a way of thinking about models in relation to the city space um, and uh, it, it, in a sense Istanbul is a kind of an extraordinary place that that is very difficult to um, uh, negotiate or respond to. And it was just a, a question of sort of walking around the, the streets and kind of creating an, a, a, a structure that could be like a, a, a street uh, uh, with buildings and, and just thinking very simply in terms of, uh, in terms of models. Uh, this is a, a, a motif of uh, kind of finding a magazine um, uh, or, or a kind of a manga cartoon uh, uh, an Istanbul um, cartoon uh, using the, the, the structure of the narrative to, to develop how the, the building or the houses uh, uh, unfold and, and then it was just a question of how to respond to this, uh, this grand space and um, I did so by uh, uh, an inflatable that mirrored the ceiling because the ceiling uh, w one of the rather wonderful things about this building is the ceiling is built like a, like a boat but very often one stops looking at the ceiling because, of the, the, uh, uh, because it's the thing that you don't notice. So it was a kind of a way of bringing the ceiling to the, to the floor. And then uh, bringing, um, I, I did a, a rubbing of s silver leaf just on my studio floor, uh, which um, kind of flaked throughout the space. So there was this idea of bringing something that it, in, in the studio is... is, is a space of uh, both potential but it, it's a totally different kind of floor to the, the kind of the grand marble of, of, of the gallery space and allowing the silver leaf uh, to then flake uh, through into the space insinuates the whole and yet never is the whole you know because the whole is unspeakable and, and it comes from German romanticism because it, it is this idea that you cannot actually ultimately uh, 
express the universal and you hit the sublime and, and, it, and, and that's the limit, you know, uh, the limit of knowledge. So, so, so you've got this idea of a fragment suggesting the whole, but uh, so there's a lot that's left unsaid, basically. And, and that is the, the idea. And I, I absolutely, I mean, one of the things I find very difficult is talking directly about the work. And, and uh, I collapse when, when that happens. And I hate people saying, what does, what's this or what's that or what's this doing? Because it, it, it's this problem of naming uh, that collapses. You know, that, that it's this idea that it is nameable. And, and I think uh, that's where things become uh, tricky.